Hello, my name is Celia, your favorite Fiber Cube VTuber, and I'm here with another YouTube tutorial. Now, if you're new to my channel, I made an Abby Live YouTube tutorial on how you can use it simply because the instructions for it wasn't Japanese, so I feel like having an English speaker translate for English speaking people would be very useful for you guys to use the app because the app is very friendly for beginner VTubers to customize a model for themselves so they can stream and see how they feel about, you know, being a VTuber. With that being said, my friends at VoopChat DM me and were like, are you able to make a YouTube video explaining how to use Abby with VoopChat? And I was like, I will definitely make a YouTube video about that because they're both very easy to use and having, you know, a visual explanation of how to use these apps is very beneficial for visual learners such as myself. So what is VoopChat? VoopChat is a website that you can go to to talk to VTubers such as yourself on a one-on-one -on -one type of conversation basis, similar to how Omegle used to be, but with VTubers exclusively. For a while, VoopChat only had their own software to be able to use your model in, but just recently they allowed a virtual camera feature, so you won't be restricted to just their own software or VTube Studio. You are able to use any type of program now, as long as it's implemented into your OBS and displayed through the virtual camera feature. So PNG tubers, 3D models, and VTubers of 2D forms are now able to participate in the fun. So with all that being said, let's run down into the tutorial aspect of this video. I'm gonna be doing mostly Avi and VoopChat because I know how to use both those websites. And I want to give a quick summary of how Avi works because I already did a YouTube video on how to like plug it into your OBS and so on. So if you want a more in-depth situation on that, I will put the YouTube video down below. But the main video is going to be about VoopChat and how you can implement yourself as an Avi creator into the website. So I want to talk real quick about how to use Avi, then VoopChat, and next you should be all good and be able to join the community and hang out with a bunch of new VTubers and meet new people. So when I re-downloaded the app to see how the instructions were laid out for newer users, since everything has been updated since the last time I used it, I've noticed that they don't have the little icon anymore that tells you where the instruction website is. So I went online to just type in Avi Live OBS instructions, and you can just hit this link right here, and it gives you the whole English translation on how to set it up, which is amazing. Um, if you need to find this website and you can't find it for any reason, I'm going to put it in the link in the description down below. So you can just instantly click that and just get to this specific website that tells you everything in English. But I'm still going to just like instruct you on how to do things on my end visually. Yeah. So the first thing that you need to download is distro. So right here, it gives you the link to the website. And on this link, you go all the way down here. And since I'm a Windows user for my PC, I'm downloading the Windows uh, file for the installer. And you can do whatever else is for your specific PC. Like if you're a Mac user or you're a uh, Linux user, you can download your your specific installer. But I'm just gonna do Windows because that's that's me. So after you downloaded your specific installer, you just press the uh, installer thing that ended up in your downloads. You press yes because it's gonna give you something that you I I can't show you on my side. It just shows my PC like a yes system. And if you'll continue with next, 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 yes, continue on. And if you'll be able to download the program. I specifically can't download a program visually for you guys because it's already on my PC and it's going to be like, you can't do it. Try again. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> you're right. I already have it on my PC. So let me continue on to NDI because that's going to be the second program that you need to download in order to use Avi on your PC. So the next step to get NDI is go back to the website, you scroll down a little bit and it, it will show the NDI download software area and I use Windows. So I'm going to click the window link and it will download into my download folder. Um, and then next I will click it. It will be the same way with distro, like how distro was where you click on the program. It'll be like download. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Continue on. And next you will have NDI and distro both into your OBS system. Now, I didn't say this before, I should have said it before, but when you download programs on your OBS, make sure your OBS is turned off so it can download without any disruption. Also, if you do not see it when you open your OBS after downloading both of these programs, you should just reset your PC just so it can have a clean slate. And once your PC opens back up, you will open OBS and you'll see both NDI and distro into your plugin section of OBS. And I will show you my OBS so you can see what I mean. So now you can see my OBS and my horror display. Don't don't judge my organization, but you'll press the plus button and if you'll see NDI source. The NDI source will be what you use to display your Abby Live VTuber. So let me put it a little name on it so I don't lose it. And then here is where your VTuber uh, link will display and so on. But I need to show you how you set up on Abby Live itself simply because this won't work without the app. So let's go to my phone real quick 
so I can open this up and properly set it up for Avi Life. So now I'm on an app, I've noticed a lot of changes have happened, such as better tracking, better layout, my clothes are gone, I do not have any more drip anymore, I'm so sad about it, I'm gonna cry, but other than that, let me show you how to do the streaming setup because it is so much easier than it was before. So when you go into the main menu, with your little icon at the bottom, it will say stream setup, click that, and we're gonna be using OBS, so we'll hit the go live button on the OBS section, make sure your tracking is okay with the top right button it like resets it just in case your model looks weird um and now we are ready to go to be set up on obs so let me go back to obs setup so you can see what i'm talking about so back on my pc we are going to go to the ndi video source that we just made and by that time because your phone is connected to the same wi-fi and the same pc as your avi your avi live setup would pop up i'm skipping so bad i don't know why he's just not moving I need to fix the general NDI source uh, settings for it. Um, but for now, I, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out for myself. But personally, you should just mess with the NDI source file to make sure all the setup matches your PC setup so you're able to move freely. Um, also, you should have it connected to your own Wi-Fi, like your phone and your PC has connections together to the same Wi-Fi to make sure that things connect smoothly. Also. A recommendation that I personally think is beneficial for someone who is going to stream on OBS with Avi or with any VTube Studio program is to get a phone fan because these things cook your phone, okay? So that's just generally my tip on how to set that up. But let's move to VOOP chat now because Avi is set up to the PC. We are a VTuber now, even if we are stiff of the board. I <laughs> but if you wanna know more about how to have more in depth uh tutorial stuff for the source i do have it in the other video so first we gotta go to the website i'm over here get in here da 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 and you need to log in i'm already logged in but you can make an account log in use your twitch use your email so on and so forth and you can just go on about your day i personally go to my profile because i want to get into the settings so i will go to the camera and mic i'll set up my specific mic that i want to use for everyone to hear me with and the camera which will be the obs virtual camera feature so you know you do this blah 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 switch over to obs but i didn't notice because i like to set up stuff before even making a video just to make sure it works that when you first ever like set up the obs feature with food chat they ask you to not do anything naughty don't don't showcase anything naughty because like with obs you can display anything you're very creative with your layout you can be a you can display not only avi and vtube studio but you can also display Wawrudo or png tuber plus like anything that is uh virtual vtuber related it will be displayed because it's obs even your face if you want to like be a face cam streamer but other than that um with the freedom of obs virtual camera it's also the risk of people doing weird shit. so the whole point of the agreement is to make sure you agree to not do weird stuff with that being said you will have an agreement you will agree to it hopefully and um you'll be able to freely use the obs virtual camera feature once you're verified and ready to go so let me just show you on my end because it's not on the virtual camera feature isn't on yet so once i click this button right here the virtual camera feature will be ready to go you will see a void the void is me so now everything should be working and you should be able to stream like this just make sure you hit the update button over there on excuse me let me just fix this real quick you'll get like an update button once you like switch over to something so like let's say i switch over to metaquest it will say update make sure you hit that update button so you're able to properly um have everything set up for you to continue using the website yeah so obs set up over here and the next there i am and that's how it's going to be displayed to anyone else who meets me on the website hopefully these videos are beneficial in any type of way when it comes to using avi or boop chat and if you want to hear more from me you can always like and subscribe i also do have a discord server that i talk to a lot of people in and you know hang out we obviously work together and so on and so forth so if you want to actually hang out one-on-one -on -one, you can join there and thank you boop chat for dming me and i'm glad to help help you guys in any way i can with showing and sharing your website with tutorials so i hope to see you all in the next video i'll see you later bye